Good day, my Rose, Kikalia, I'm Marjorie, and they're also from BSN 1A. In this video, I'll be performing the assessment for eye structure and eye acuity. Come in. So good day, Ms. Alrosa. Good day. Okay, so I am Marjorie. I am a student nurse in here, and I will be assessing your eye structure and visual acuity. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, so how are you feeling? I'm all right. You're all right. Oh, do you feel any pain in your eye, any lumps or bumps or any pain that you are feeling that you want to tell me? No. No. Okay, that's good. So, uh, as I said, I will be doing the eye structure and the visual acuity assessment to you today. So, before we start anything, I'll be washing my hands first. Is that alright? Yes. Alright, so I'll come back, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I am back. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is the external eye structure assessment for this case. Okay. Okay, so in this assessment, I will be touching some parts of your face, your eyes. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, so first what we're going to be doing is to inspect the eyebrows for the hair distribution in here and the alignment and for the skin quality and movement. So is there any twitching in here? No, we see nothing and there is an even distribution of the eyebrows and there is symmetry. So that is good. That is good. <laughs> so next is to inspect the eyelashes for the evenness and distribution of the direction and the curl. So can you turn your eyes at uh, your face sideways first? All right. So we see there's a nice curve in there. And there is a thick uh, distribution of the eyelashes in um, Ms. Delarosa's eyelash. So that is good. Now inspect the eyelids for the surface characteristics and position in relax in relation to the cornea. Okay, so the ab ability to blink. Okay, and the frequency of blinking. So she's blinking just normal. So that is good. And no multiple blinking. So that is good. So we also inspect the lower uh, eyelids while the client's eyes are closed. So please close your eyes. So we see the skin in here. There's not really a discoloration, no redness, nor no soreness. So that is good. Okay, you can open your eyes. Oh, that's good. So now we inspect the bulbar conjunctiva. It's here, we down. So we check this by pulling the uh, the surface downwards. So we see that that's the bulbar conjunctiva. So we are looking for a clear, a uh, pinkish skin, a uh, uh, coloration color rather. So we see, okay, that is good and pink. It's not uh, yellowy. There's no signs of jaundice. So that is good. So, as we see, the colors are good, the texture is good, and that's it. So, next is the palpebral conjunctiva in here. Okay, that is good. We see normal signs of it. Now, is to avert the eyelid, upper eyelids if problems are suspected. We are not seeing any problems, so we're not going to be doing that anymore. So next is to inspect and palpate the lacrimal gland. It is in here. Okay, so it's all here. It's in here. So this is where your tears come from. This is where, you know, the moisture of your eyes really comes from. So we want to see that. We want to palpate that one, both sides. Okay. Also the lacrimal sac there and the muscle lacrimal um, duct. Okay. That is good, we got good results. Okay, so now inspect the cornea for clarity and texture. Uh, look here. All right, can you see the other one? 
All right, that is good. She got um, clear once and it's a very um, clear, her eyes. So now um, we're gonna be needing a pen knife for the next procedures. So now we have the pen light with us and other equipments that we will be using in the uh, assessment later on. So ma'am, the first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be informing you that we're going to be touching some parts of your eyes. Oh, is that alright? Yes. Okay, so the first thing that we want the patient to do is to look straight forward and ready our pen lights in an oblique angle. So we're going to be uh, moving the pen light across the uh, cradle. All right, so that is good. And now we're going to be performing the cranial uh, nerve sensitivity. So this will be determining the sensitivity of the cranial nerve number five. So here. All right, so that is good. So now we're, what we're going to be doing is to inspect the anterior chamber for transparency and the depth okay, with the light. So these looks there. Alright. Alright, so it's just sitting uh, good and the transparency is uh, visible. So that is good. So now we're going to be checking the people for the color, shape, and symmetry. So please look at me. All right, so I see that they are not they are not twitching anywhere, and they're very symmetrical, and that the pupils are brown and, and beautiful. Okay, so the shape is also just perfect for its uh, size of eyes. So now what we're gonna be doing is to assess each eye through the reaction of light. Okay, so in here. So we're going to be checking how the pupils would dilate in reaction to the light. Is it going to be quick or going to be slow? Okay. Alright, so they reacted quickly to dilation when the light was making contact with the pupils. So we have that. Okay, so now we're going to be assessing the peripheral visual fields. So ma'am, what I'm going to be asking you to do is to cover one eye. Alright, so I want you to read, to count how many fingers I'm putting up, okay? Okay. Two, three, four, six. Okay, that's good. The other eye, please. Okay. Three, two, two, three. Okay, so that is good. So next, what we're going to be doing is to assess the six ocular movements of the eyes to determine the eye alignment and the coordination. So now what I'm going to be doing is to ask you to move your eyes according to where the pen light is going. Is that all right? All right. All right. So just follow this, okay? Okay. You ready? All right, so I see that there are no twitching, there are no bad coordination in the eye, which is good that it is uh, moving together with the pen light. So I see no uh, abnormalities in that area, so that is good. So now we're going to be assessing the near and distant uh, vision of the patient. So ma'am, as you can see straight forward, can you see what color is that sofa? Uh, brown. Brown, okay. So, can you see, what is that over there? Curtain. A curtain, okay, that is good. So now we're going to be assessing it as well with the uh, sun limb, um, with the silence chart. So as you can see in there. Alright now, so as you can see, straight forward, there is a sign on chart and there are letters in there. I want you to be reading each line that I would be telling you. Tell me each letter that you see, is that alright? Okay. Okay, so you can begin. The first line you see is... 
E. E. Okay, the second line. F. P. Okay, so third line. T. O. Z. Okay, what letters do you see in the fourth line? L. P. E. D. The fifth line. P. E. C. F. D. Okay, can you still see the sixth line? E. D. F. C. Z. P. Okay, the seventh line, can you still see it, Pa? F. E. L. O. P. Z. D. Okay, the eighth line, can you still see it? No. No, okay, that's alright. That's good. So, uh, now what we're going to be doing is to document the findings that you found during the assessment. And that would be all. Thank you Ms. Uh, so, so much, Ms. Valarosa. You're welcome. Okay, so hope to see her again in the next RVs. So, thank you so much and that will be all.